Hey guys, and welcome to Petrolped, and welcome to this week's Midweek 180. Well, as you can see, I am back from my holidays, safe and sound. And if you've not seen one of these before, this is my Midweek Update, where I bring you my news, views, and information about upcoming reviews, all filmed in one take. I'm gonna put 180 seconds in the bottom left-hand corner of your screen, and that's it, a very simple format. So, without further ado, let's get cracking with this week's Midweek 180. I shall start my timer. Okay, first comment last week. Well, that was the Speed Machine 35, and I have to have a huge apology here. I screwed up with my scheduling timings, and it didn't go live automatically. I spotted it about 15 minutes late, so it did go live a little bit late, which might have messed a few people up. But whoever puts the first comment this week, I will give you a shout out next week. Let the battle royale immense. Uh, where are you and what you're doing? Well, that was Jeff Newman, who very nicely was in the Loire Valley in a camper van drinking a glass or three of red wine. So where are you right now and what are you doing? And I will give you a shout out next week. Now, last week's question was all about what you thought the national speed limit should be on a British motorway. Um, and lots and lots of suggestions overwhelmingly the most common response was 85 miles an hour closely followed by 80 miles an hour uh, and there were a few people who suggested higher than that but also very common response was that's all well and good putting the speed limit up but we need to sort out lane discipline and general driving standards on the motorway which i couldn't agree with more to be honest um, this week's question is all to do with this friday's film it's a very simple question i want to know which of you guys, your car, is it an, your own personal car? Is it a company car? Or do you get a car allowance from work and then choose to buy a car with that money? So um, which of those is your situation currently? Um, F1 this week was the Monaco Grand Prix. Now, the qualifying for the Monaco Grand Prix was simply breathtaking. Danny Ricciardo's uh, lap was phenomenal, and the race was pretty dull. But then Monaco is normally pretty dull unless something spectacular happens or it rains. But, but it's Monaco. It was still an interesting race because lots of things could have panned out. They just didn't. Um, Danny Rick lost his MGUK after about 30 laps and still won, which is just a phenomenal drive. And obviously, see Max crashed but interestingly Max crashed in uh, quality in exactly the same place he crashed two years ago when we were there watching him which was uh, uh, amazing really um, and then another bit of sports news this week I as we are the peddlers so we had to mention this chap Chris Froome winning the Giro d'Italia I don't know if you um, any of you saw stage 19 but what an unbelievable ride that was to go with 80k to go and pull out over three minutes was just phenomenal so amazing amazing performance from Chris Froome and what a bike <laughs> Oh, I'd love to have one of those. Um, new car news this week isn't a real car. It's a model of a real car. This. So uh, ahead of the launch, there have been some viral shots of the new Bugatti Chiron Lego. Now, if you saw my coverage from Geneva, there were some tasters on the Bugatti stand at Geneva, but the actual proper launch is on the 1st of June, but it just looks wicked. I can't wait to add it to my uh, GT3 RS model. Absolutely brilliant. And also one of my close friends, Helen, spotted this on the public road, the McLaren Senna, the first one that I've um, had or seen actually on the road and that my friends is that in terms of time however we've ran out of time and haven't mentioned Friday's video so <laughs> Friday's video I actually shot yesterday with a company called Wilmot Dixon they're a construction company and they're running an initiative around electric and plug-in hybrid vehicles and it was a, a really great opportunity to go along and see what they're doing trying to persuade their drivers to get into um, non petrol and diesel cars basically. So we had a range of different um, plug-in and electric vehicles. Um, we, I drove a, a Renault Zoe, an e-Golf, um, and a Hyundai Ioniq plug-in hybrid. Um, it's a bit of a different video from me, but if you wanna see that, make sure you tune in on Friday at six o'clock for my next video all about should you basically choose an electric or plug-in hybrid vehicle as your company car. Anyway, my dear peddlers, that is that. I hope you've enjoyed this film. If you have done so, give me a thumbs up. Comments below are always welcome. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to Petrol Ped for plenty more content to come. And I will see you on the next film, which is Friday at six. Should you buy an electric or plug-in hybrid car as your company car? Anyway, I'll see you on that film, but you take care, guys. Drive safe.